Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is the latest video regarding Urja Global Limited and yes guys as you know once upon a time 2017 or 18 this share also multi batted to so much of people who have invested in penny stocks but you should note that this company's financial is not that much worth but the potential it has is very very important guys so basically moving on this to video so if you are new to this channel then make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you could get our latest updates and what not guys and moving on as we said let's see the financials of this company guys and before that now let us see the financials the annual trends we can see so that we could get a yearly view on it guys as you can see here the revenue which has been on a constant increase as you can see here guys from 2015 116 crores now it is 129 crores and other income also increased so the total income is coming to 132 crores guys and repeating again the total income is 132 crore and the expenditure it has incurred is 130 crore and there is no interest that means there is no payment of loan and as you can see here the profit before depreciation and taxes 1.88 crore and the net profit is around 1.32 crore which has been increasing from 2015 to 2019 and this share with the price of 1.64 earning a profit of around 1.32 crore and the EPS is also constantly increasing but the main thing you have no I think you may have seen this and you may have think oh the company is earning 1.32 crore profit but the main fact it is guys I mean lot of people don't see this in a different way so we will try to provide you the different way so that this is a, we will see this financial result in a different way so that you could get the overall view of guys as you can see here the revenue is 130 crore which means the company's normal working is 130 crore in which their total expenditure is 130 crore so what they earned in revenue is being spent on expenditure and this profit which they earn 1.32 crore is nothing but this other income other income 2.17 crore minus this 55 percentage of tax which gives you around 1.32 crore and we see like this now this is the difference between how people see this financial guys because of other income this share is giving profit now if you say, say to me that this company is not worth at all to me this company is little bit worth guys because in future if this company continue like this and it has a great potential to get over as you can see here the 50 day week high was 3.60 and the 50 day week low is 1.46 and then now the share price is 1.67 and we say this share is worth a lot because the one reason is penny stock and second thing is this company is earning profit at least in an, at least in an other income way guys instead of being a reliance a communication which is in insolvency and 0 0.85 rupees negative. I mean, the book value is also negative and the share price is 85 paise. No, that is not the matter. But the main thing you should note this: if you have a hope that multi uh stocks can be a penny stock also, and if you believe the small caps and the mid caps can rule this market this year, then Urja Global could be the best best choice uh, because. The reason as you said that the profit is being earned but the amount of profit is being earned is very very matter guys and also you should note that the risk involved in this, in this type of companies because you don't know how it will turn out in any time. If you have chance it can go to 5 rupees. If we have do not have luck it can go to 5 paise also but we don't want any share to go to that much of low level. We always want it was us to gain profit. A little bit correction sometimes so that it makes the share more volatile and make people to invest. And this is our view on Urja Global Limited. And people, if you ask me the latest news regarding Urja Global, this is the latest news regarding on the provide. The latest news is as you can see here, Urja Global Limited having the result on as on as you can see here, 10th of February 2020. So they having the result on 10th February 2020, and this is the latest news regarding. Urja Global Limited and in which they are going to consider and approve the unaudited standalone and consolidated financial result for the quarter ended and any other business as may consider necessary. So this point, this point is being considered necessary. It is very necessary to note and if this quarter result is positive, we can see a double this 2 or 2.5 maybe in Urja Global Limited guys. And this is about Urja Global Limited and if you like this video, then why not subscribe yourself for more videos like this. And see you in another video very soon, guys. Thank you once again for seeing this video.